Hello YouTube and welcome back to Multi-Tool School. You know the traditional uh, original multi-tool design was like this. You opened the handles to access the uh, tools on the inside, the knife blade or the pliers. Uh, this is a uh, Leatherman side clip and that same style is carried over uh, even uh, to today. This is the Leatherman Super Tool 300. You still uh, open it up to access the implements on the inside of the handle. Now, some of the tool, the multi-tools, uh, such as this Leatherman Wave, have uh, the knife blade or some of the other implements on the outside of the handle. And the rest uh, are still on the inside of the handle. Now, what I'm going to talk about today is a multi-tool that doesn't quite fit either one of those styles. This is the Schrade multi-tool. Um, you can uh, open up the handles. There's not any, uh, not any tools there. You don't have any tools on the inside of this handle. Uh, there's your pliers. Uh, there's not any knife blade on the outside here. Uh, there's not any uh, scissors or anything to access. Uh, the Schrade multi-tool, the implements are on the back side. Here's your assortment of tools. The tools are kind of the, uh, more or less the, the usual tools you would expect to find on a standard multi-tool, but then a, a few that you might not expect. Uh, here's a standard screwdriver with a wire cutter right there. Uh, this is a knife blade that is uh, sort of a utility type blade, I would call it. You have <clears throat> right here a saw blade and this right here is basically a ruler and this uh, notch I think is uh, probably a hook remover I'm thinking. On the other side, there's a can opener, a uh, nice Phillips head screwdriver, and take a look at this. This implement right here is uh, something unique that I haven't seen on any other multi-tools. It's a, um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure what the name of it is, but it, this is a uh, sharpened right here. It's a knife or cutting blade. Uh, I think you could actually use this for uh, uh, making a bowl or a spoon. Um, some of you woodworkers would know more about that. But it's uh, interesting, it's a unique feature. You have your drop point knife and you have a file. Now, uh, this uh, drop point blade is partially serrated. And these uh, tools are locking blade, and the locking mechanism is right here. Now, the way this works is the knife and one other tool on this side 
are shaped a little bit differently right here and on the knife blade right here and when you open this up all the way this tab back here that's part of the locking mechanism is going to raise up right there and then this is going to lock into place. To unlock it you've got to raise this tab and the way that you're going to do that is use this other implement that has that same feature right there and that's what's going to raise that tab. Now uh, this is uh, kind of the, for me anyway, this is kind of the tricky part because if you accidentally open this one all the way and it also clicks into place, there aren't any other tools on this side that have that extra uh, bump right there that's going to open this. And so what you're going to end up having to do is get a screwdriver blade or a knife blade or something and try to pry this up to get those loose. So what we're trying to do here is unlock the knife blade. And so we're going to open this to where we raise that tab, like right now, and we can close the knife blade. And on this other side, it's the same setup. Here's the tool that has that mechanism right there, and this one also. And so that's that's what you're going to need to unlock this. Uh, screwdriver you lock it into place. Now one thing about this Schrade multi-tool I haven't found a way to use any bit kit with this. Um, I haven't found the, the Leatherman uh, implements don't seem to fit in here. Uh, they they're not they don't fit onto the Phillips screwdriver. Um, so I haven't found a way to use any bit kit with this. Now maybe there's some uh, accessory somewhere that I haven't come across uh, that are going to give you a bit kit with this, but. I'm not aware of them. So, um, the Schrade multi-tool, it's uh, a little different. It has uh, one or two uh, implements on it that you're not going to find anywhere else. Uh, so it's, a, it's an interesting multi-tool. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.